hear what I hear. Welcome back to the greatest guild in the world. Now before we get into Grey's suspicions of Juvia in this week's chapter, our savior and anime dad, Hiro Mashima, has recently answered lots of our burning questions at an interview in Germany, the most important being when asked about the end of Fairy Tale and our favorite pairings, Natsu and Lucy, Urza and Jalal, Juvia and Grey, and so on, the rest of them, you know the story. Mashima responded that he may work on a spin-off about the pairings what? Oh. Like we already have 100 Years Quest and Eden Zero in serialization now at the same time, I'm shocked he's even thinking about a new series, especially one where Nalu is finally happening? Or could he just be alluding to the 100 Years Quest because we already have Levy pregnant and like the last two or three chapters have been nothing but ships, so maybe future down the line in 100 Years Quest we'll be seeing our favorite pairings together, or my guess with Levy already pregnant, a next fairy tale generation because remember, Hiro already drew Lucy and Natsu's daughter as well as Grey and Juvia's son like back in 2017. Maybe he's had something in the works for a while now. Either way, there may be another spin-off series about Natsu and Lucy together. I am all for it, you guys know that, as long as Hiro is involved in the storyboarding and art for the series because that's what matters to me most. He's my favorite artist. I don't care as much about his storytelling as I do that he's involved in the artwork. You already know I'm really looking forward to whatever he's planning and as always make sure you're caught up on all the original manga and all of Hiro Mashima's other spin-off series and fairy tale manga. You can get them all five bucks off over at global.bookwalker.jp when you use my code SOLANI in all lowercase. The link will be in the description. Go support the official publishers in Japan and grab Fairy Tale, Eden Zero, Rave Master, Fairy Girls, Tons of other manga, like pretty much whatever you want. They have so much stuff and crazy good deals on everything. Global.bookwalker.jp. Go support the official publishers in Japan. And another huge thing that Mashima mentioned, or did not mention rather, was that he didn't answer whether or not he liked the anime when he was asked about it. He just said he was glad it brought more people to the manga. <laughs> So maybe we aren't the only ones who are kind of upset about how they're handling the anime right now cutting out any mature scenes, completely changing the appearance or disposition of the characters when they're captured or tortured. For example, in the manga, you really feel the distress. But in the anime, it's all good fun apparently to appeal to children, and I personally highly doubt that Hiro Mashima is a fan of the massive loss in translation from the manga to the anime, which we have been talking about in our guild discord. Go join it, link in the description. Especially seeing the series animated completely differently than the way he drew it. でも<笑> Hey, 
と何の関係があるのでも,もう大丈夫何が起きてるっすかThe other simple things he answered were like Natsu is his favorite character, but he identifies the most with Ichia. He loves Urza because he's a man of culture, but hates drawing her armor because it's so complicated. I mean, understandable. And then he mentioned that Mystagon was happy, but left it to the audience to imagine what happens to him. So, yeah, that was pretty much all that happened. Now, in the new chapter, we finally get past the doppelgangers and we finally get to Drasil in the continent of Giltena, and it's even bigger than Crocus. But that's not the only thing that's bigger than Crocus, is it, Lucy? And Grey is clearly aware something's up with Juvia from the beginning. As he should be, since last time we saw Juvia, she was tied up and passed out on the floor from Toka. And when Juvia gets all close and warm with Grey, we kind of carry on what we learned in last chapter, which is that Grey eventually plans on confessing his love to her, because now in this chapter, Grey tells Juvia to just be patient and wait. So, to me, honestly, this means that Gruvia will eventually happen. It's pretty confirmed, and that's perfectly fine. I am along for the ride, no matter how long it takes. How many chapters have we been waiting? Like almost 600 now? Just make sure you give us Nalu and Jerza too, please, and the rest of them. Come on, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> and we get a bunch of happy scenes of the guild too, which is nice because honestly, it's great to reminisce with how far we've come in this manga and that everyone is still together after all this time. By the way, I think Lucy and Grey got some new outfits this chapter. At least Grey is just, like taking off his jacket or something. And I don't remember, but I think these are newly drawn. It, it might be Lucy's old outfit, but it definitely looks different than the past. Few chapters, right? I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments. The Hon no Kaidoku will do. Hari, itadimasu. Wow. Hmm. Anyways, after continuing with Gray's suspicion about Juvia. Juvia just starts freaking out and breaking down and screams, "Beware the White Witch!" Freaking Grave the hell out because she just faints and Gray wraps his arms around her, like trying to save her. But the focus doesn't stay on that for long, since the town, the entire city, just starts to shake, which was really interesting because it's like all of this is happening at once. They don't even have time to figure out what the hell is wrong with Juvia yet before this earthquake starts happening. So soon Lucy realizes that the entire city is part of the Wood God Dragon's right hand, the Wood God Dragon Alderaan, by the way. Sickest looking dragon I have seen in the entire series thus far. The artwork was so innovative, like, I'm not sure if it was Hiro who designed that or if it was Atsuo who designed it, but his face just looks so awesome, right? Like, all of the guild members freaking out, Grey holding Juvia in his arms, Natsu just drenched in sweat, worried about the sheer size of this dragon, because I'm pretty sure it's the biggest one we've seen thus far, too. And it's safe to say I'm excited for next chapter. Especially excited to see if they return to the guild to save everyone or what, because they seem super far away from home, so I wonder how it's gonna play out now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is Juvia sticking with them? How are they going to defeat something this huge? I'm really, I'm loving the pacing in the series so far, honestly. I mean, obviously they're gonna defeat him with the Nakama power, but still. What do you guys think about this? And what do you think about the new fairy tale series that may come out with our ships? And our pairings the hero was talking about at his last interview who knows what might happen we're gonna find out if you haven't yet make sure and join the guild discord grimoire heart if you love anime link in the description we're always talking fairy tale and other stuff come chat with us in there i will be posting that eden zero piece over on twitter and instagram at some point so if you want to check it out follow me at soul underscore animation and of course subscribe if you haven't already and that's it bye <laughs>